Hello everybody, Eastwood here, and welcome back to a new series on Project Zomboid. Uh, I'm going to tone things down a notch. <laughs> we are, we're getting rid of the sprinters. Uh, I'm sorry for anybody who wanted to see more sprinter content. Um, you know, eventually we'll, we'll circle back around. Uh, we'll do some more sprinter stuff at some point or another, but for now... Uh, I've had enough. Had enough of dealing with that. So um, I'm just going to run through real quick what I've thrown together and we'll go from there. So I'm going to be doing the custom sandbox as always, right? And then down here are the mods. They haven't changed much from the last run, except I did remove a couple uh, just because that functionality has been added to the vanilla version of Project Zomboid now. Uh, so things like the uh, taped VHS tapes, that's part of Zomboid now. Um, the level up notification showing you when a skill has leveled up above your head. Uh, that's part of vanilla Zomboid now. Uh, so I've removed both of those mods. Uh, so you can see here what I'm using if you're curious. Uh, I'll also have a list of the mods in the uh, video description on YouTube. Uh, so let's go ahead and let's, uh, let's move on. Uh, I'm actually going to play on, on Grapeseed uh, right now. Um, it, it is a, a mod, a mod map. Uh, technically speaking, I had it enabled on the last playthrough, but I I naively thought that we would make it over there. Um, yeah, that never happened. So we're actually going to spawn in Grapeseed this time. Uh, it's near Rosewood. I believe it's northwest of Rosewood. Um, yeah. So we're going to spawn somewhere on this this little map. So I, I literally have zero familiarity with with grape seeds. So as soon as we spawn, uh, I'm not going to know what we're doing. So I'm going to be using a, a new preset I created. YouTube preset number six, no respawn. It's based heavily off of the third preset that I made a while back on no respawn. Uh, I'm not going to waste a ton of time on this, but I am going to click through just so you can see what I'm doing. Zombie count. I'm doing very high instead of insane. Uh, I don't know how grape seed is as a as a map. Um, insane could be not not even doable. <clears throat> so we're gonna try with very high, and we're gonna go from there. Uh, time normal July 9th default. World uh, locked houses sometimes. <clears throat> uh, I set a week timer on items being removed. Um, Number of hours since an item was dropped on the ground before it's removed. I set that to a week. Uh, this is something new. The Zomboid. <clears throat> is the ability to actually set items to be auto-deleted after a certain period of time. Kind of nice. I like it. At least I think I like it. Uh, darkness during the night. Left it on dark. One more high. Uh, one setting higher than normal. Nature, all default. Sadistic AI, helicopter sometimes. Sleeping event sometimes. Meta, all default. Loot rarity. I actually turned fresh food and canned food to rare. Uh, if you've watched me for any period of time, you'll know I normally set these two to normal. I'm actually going to set them to rare. So we'll see. We'll see how much uh, more difficult food is to come by, alright? Character, this is all default. Uh, weapon multi-hit is off. Vehicles, um, I turned a few things to the regular settings, but I kept the car spawn rate on normal, and we kept the condition on normal. Zombie lore, here we go. Alright, so I can't handle sprinters, and I can't handle random, because there's still too many sprinters. <laughs> so I'm just going to keep it on fast shamblers. We're going to keep them on normal strength. I'm going to put them on tough. I've never played with tough. I've always left them on normal. I don't know how much harder this will be. Um, maybe it takes an extra hit. Maybe two extra hits. I don't know. I don't know what this is going to do. But we're going to roll with it. Transmission, blood plus saliva, infection, mortality, 0 to 12 hours. Uh, I, don't, I don't screw around after I've been bit. I don't feel like, I don't, I don't feel like messing around. Just kill me <laughs> uh cognition so normally I've, i hear lately i've been doing navigate plus use doors i'm gonna put it on random 
So some zombies will be able to open doors and windows, some zombies won't. I like that. We'll leave it on that. Uh, the rest of this default. Uh, environmental attacks. Um, yeah, we, we'll leave that on. I've had it on for so long, I don't even remember what it's like without it. A zombie house alarm triggering. Oh boy. I'm going to leave it on. <laughs> so I haven't changed a whole lot here. Except for their speed. And I actually made them a little bit tougher. Um, yeah. I'm going to roll with this for now. We'll see. Advanced zombie options. It's just on very high population. Uh, no respawn. That's how we do it. Expanded helicopter events. This actually comes from the expanded helicopter events mod that I downloaded. It adds a few different things that can happen with the helicopter. Uh, I have it cut off. Uh, we'll no longer get these expanded events after 60 days. That might be too long because the default's 30. Uh, but I went ahead and doubled it. We'll, we'll play around with the expanded helicopters events thing. We didn't really get to experience it too much on the last playthrough uh, because my characters kept dying too damn fast. <laughs> So I'm going to go ahead and click through these one more time just so you can see what we're rolling with. Uh, knock on wood, hopefully. This isn't too crazy difficult. Uh, I've never played on the grape seed map. So I don't know how difficult this map is going to be. And I don't know where anything is. So we're going to be running around in the dark, essentially. All right, next. So I've made a, uh, a new preset called Vic, Vic the Veteran. Um, veteran, so here's my thought process here. We never get to play with guns, ever. And I know I've mentioned this before, but I really want to try to use some guns. And I think I'm going to do it on this playthrough. Um, we'll see. We'll see how that goes. But Veteran gives us two aiming, two reloading, and, and desensitized. So if we go over here... Um, Where's my desensitized? Hold on, hold on, hold on. But it's it's not loading my uh, my saves. Hold on. Next. Oh, why is it not loading, Vic? It's given Vic Carol's old settings. No, I had it all made out. Now I got to do it again on while, while I'm recording. And I hate that. All right. Let's go ahead and see if I can throw together what I had for Vic here since it didn't want to save what I had selected. Let's see, do I remember what I did? I had stout. Thick skinned. We were going with conspicuous. Overweight. And slow healer. <clears throat> so I'm pretty darn sure this is what I was doing. Thick skin's good, stout's good, dexterous, cat's eyes, desensitized. We're gonna need, we're gonna be very thirsty, we're gonna be overweight, but we can get rid of overweight. High thirst is not a huge problem. Slow healer sucks, but whatever. I'm willing to deal with that. Conspicuous, I've never really played with, so we'll see how that goes. So we start out with a little bit of aiming, a little bit of reloading. We have some fitness and some strength. Nothing too insane. Yeah, I think we're going to go ahead and roll with this. Just gives me a little bit of a, a boost on aiming and reloading in case we find a gun early on, right? Uh, otherwise, we're, we're just going to be rolling with some fitness and some strength. Uh, thick skinned is nice. Uh, possibly would have saved Carol <laughs> last playthrough. Uh, yeah, sure, why not? I've spent tons of time on this. Uh, I was gonna name... Well, we, we're gonna go with a male this time. And we're gonna go with Vic. Vic Shelley. I don't know if I like that. Vic. Vic. 
Vic Peterson. <laughs> don't don't ask me. I don't know. Yeah, give him some chest hair. Uh, does Vic want a mullet? Yeah, hell, Vic, you don't look too bad. Those sneakers look funny on you. There we go. Or the long socks looked funny. The sneakers not as bad. Give you some black sneakers. Uh, no hat. No glasses. Alright, this is Vic. This is what we're rolling with. Oh yeah, I need to start saving some of the characters I create. Do we save Vic? Yeah, we'll save Vic. There you go, Vic. Alright. Here we go. That only took 10 freaking minutes. I'm one of those weirdos who records the beginning and shows everyone the setup. I don't know why. I just like to do that. <laughs> Maybe I'll record this episode a little bit longer than 30 minutes because I wasted so much time on the setup. Kind of excited to uh, to be dealing with slow zombies. Although, we'll see what happens when I click start right here. We could spawn around zombies. I've never spawned on grape seeds, so get ready to run. Okay, so we spawned out in the middle of nowhere. We got zombies on us. That's fine. What else is new, right? Uh, it's just two. So I tell you what, let's see if we can take him out with our bare hands. Look at our army shirt. We, we can do this. Oh yeah, look at that. Vic doesn't care. Vic's a beast. Turn off that alarm, but we do have a watch now. Part of me wants to put on that leather jacket, but, eh. You know what? Yeah, throw, throw the shoes on. So it looks like we've already, um, somebody's already set off an alarm. There's a generator in there, I already saw. Alright, so we've already got a bunch of zombies on our butt. <clears throat> and like I said, never played Grapeseed. Don't know where we're at. I think that alarm's coming from here, though. Which means I should probably be getting away from here. Alright, well, we're off. Let's do a little bit of sneaking gonna be pulling zombies all around to this location and I would rather not get noticed nice wide open field <laughs> come on alarm where are you I thought it was down there, but sounds like it's over here. Please go away, alarm. I can't turn your sound setting down individually anymore. All right, Vic. Let's see if we can't find a good place to hole up for the night. Oh, okay. Cool. Let's get out in this open field where I can see everything. Where I know we're safe. Oh, I love, I love slow zombies so much. Ma'am, I'm gonna have to smash your face in.
Oh, we still need to be careful. Yeah. Ah, hell. All right, we can't do this. <laughs> we, we maybe can, but I don't know if I feel like messing with it. Yeah, that alarm messed shit up. So let's, uh, let's just lose them. Oh, yeah. It's pulling them. In fact, it's, it's getting worse heading to this direction. Circle back around. <laughs> I have a feeling I'm on the north side of Grapeseed. Probably. Is it weird that it's kind of nice to have a slow horde of zombies swallowing you? Like, just the feeling of being able to walk away from them. I'm a big fan. I like it. Yep. Yep. The zombies setting off these alarms early on is, uh, is going to be a little bit difficult to play around. I know we're backtracking already, but... I'm going to have to work my way further into town. I don't want to go this way because I don't know where that goes. Oh, it's quite the little group. Whoa, hey, buddy. Oh, hey, lady. That police car looks pretty nice. In fact, can we sneak back in here? Leave me alone. Quit following me. Damn it. Huh. I don't know what to do here, guys. I guess I could lose them in the trees. I don't know if I can fight three barehanded. I maybe can. Fall down. Ah, it's hard. Damn it! <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. I can't, I can't seem to do this. Okay, walking in here, not advised. But I'm gonna do it. Alright, was that enough to lose them? If not, I'm going to go over here and hop this fence. Oh, we're already exerted. Fat boy. Alright, here's what we want, though. Here's what we need. Give me that. Give me that hammer. Hell yeah, attach that crowbar. Already got a screw. Screwdriver and a saw. Oh man, we're setting pretty. Where that dust mask? Yeah. Uh oh the gas can's a good find too. We'll go ahead and pick the gas can up for now. All right, look at us. Well, at least we have a weapon now. Oh, that's cool. That looks like a vault boy. Bobblehead or something. Garbage bag. Technically a bag that we can use. 
Not a very good one, mind you, but it is a bag. Empty bottles, bunch of newspapers. Hello, generator. Always good to run across those very early on. We'll leave it here for now, but... It has been noted. Oh, this place looks cool. I like it. Oh! A hand axe. Yes, please. A padlock? Used to lock containers. Items and equipment can be stored securely. That's really cool. I don't know if I've seen a padlock before. Wow, yeah, this is like a complete tool. This is a, definitely a tool spot. Well, I mean, it looked like an automotive place or a handyman place. Shovel's not a bad weapon either. Box and nails, that's a good find. More nails, oh my goodness. Look at that. Story of my life. Already got too much crap. Grab that trowel. We could get a... Uh... What am I trying to say? We could get a, a garden in the ground pretty damn early. We can find a decent little house. Lots of duct tape here. Tons of nails. Oh, is this food? Aw, it looks like there's food, but it lied to me. I can't eat nails. I'm not tough enough to eat nails. There are a ton of planks here, though, like already on the shelves. Chips! Hey! Still no water, though, anywhere. Oh, wait, never mind. Never mind! All right. So there, there are a crap ton of planks here, but there's a lot of windows too. One, two, three, four, five, six. I had to board this up. I could board this place up. Like I said, all the planks are already here and as an upstairs and it's surrounded by fences on almost all sides. And we've got two water dispensers. Siggies! Just need a lighter. Come on, somebody give me a lighter. Oh, scissors. That's kind of a good find. More Siggies. Yeah, we're gonna have to go bop some zombies, see if we can't get a lighter. Bread. Bread and salmon and more cigarettes. Okay. I guess we'll leave the bread in there for now. Not not a fridge. Brilliant. Oh yeah, we might live here. This place is really nice. Oh my god, we could also like do a farm up here, couldn't we? There's no way out there, but I bet if we broke a window, we could crawl out there. Can I open these windows? Doesn't look like it. Still, we could we could farm up here from the looks of it. Matches! Hey, there we go. Now we can smoke our ciggies. Flashlight's pretty important. We could put that hand torch away. We don't really need it if we've got a flashlight. No food in here though. Well, never mind. We got a mutton chop. Go ahead and grab that mutton chop and cook it. Oh, we don't have a stove. We do have a microwave though. 
That'll work. Oh, that's cooking. That's. Oh my God! There's another up. Really? Let's go upstairs. Oh. Okay. Well, we can farm up here then. I like this place. I like this place a lot. Hell, if we wanted, we could... I saw a tarp just a second ago. Is there a battery in there? Yeah. Could remove the battery. Yeah, go ahead and remove the battery. Oh, we put it back on the shelf after we took the battery out. Cool. How are you doing? Not even halfway. Still need a... What? The heck? Oh. Okay. <laughs> I was like, what? I already went in the bathroom. What are, what are those other doors? The toilets. Adhesive to... Hey, radio. Give me that radio. Mm, nothing I want. Oh, get back over here. <gasps> Turn off. Oh, wait. Turn back on. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Come on. There we go. Uh, aren't we? We're obese, aren't we? We're a big boy. Yeah, we're a really big boy. Uh, I'm gonna just hold on to that mutton chop for now. In fact, let's just stick it in the refrigerator. It's really nice getting all these seeds, like, right off the bat. Uh, can we put our radio somewhere over here? Yeah, we can. Let's stick it right here. See if we got lucky enough to have the emergency uh, broadcast channel on it. Damn, nope. We didn't. So we could technically just listen to the radio. 89.4 hits FM. Eh, I'm not that interested in the radio, to be honest. Not if it doesn't tell us. Emergency broadcast info, then I don't care that much. Alright, so it's looking like we might go ahead and just stay here. I, I really like this place. I mean... The fences on all sides is really nice. We could just, you know, level up carpentry and then build some walls. There's a second level up here. There's a third level. We could do farming here. I, I, I think I just take it. I think we take it. Oh, cool. It's a little trash can right there. It actually functions as one. Okay, so, um, stick that in there. Already have 80 cigarettes. Ridiculous. There. Leave a few cigarettes. Uh, I guess I'll leave a single garbage bag. Leave the gas can. Alright, I'm just trying to lose a little bit of weight. We're going to go bonk some zombies real quick. And then I think I'm going to put up some planks downstairs. Just to try to make this place a little bit safe. Right? Um, let's smoke a ciggy. Our guy needs a cig. Have I found a... I found some bottles, didn't I? Yeah, I found empty bottles at some point. Were they downstairs? Are they in a different building? I forget. I didn't go out here, did I? Yeah, I like this out here. This is cool. Oh, yeah. I like. 
We'll need to find a sack so we can bring some dirt up here. Now go ahead and get a drink. Need a bottle very badly. Oh, that was a welder's mask. Very nice. Grab that. Yes, please. Okay. Don't think I'm missing anything here yet. Go ahead and pick up this plank. And I'm going to start working on making the downstairs a little bit more safe. Because we have all these free planks. There's like planks everywhere down here. Well, there were. There's a plank. Well, I thought there were. I felt like I found a bunch earlier. Where did they all go? Were they just all over here? <laughs> we don't have to worry about nails, do we? That's for she sure. There we go, five planks. Four planks, all right. There should be enough planks in here, I bet, for us to at least get a couple planks on every window. Uh, guess we'll start right here. Two planks. Little bit, little bit too many windows down here on this first floor. Not a big fan of that. But we'll make do. No, don't unbarricade, buddy. Wait, why can't I barricade? Oh, no more nails. There we go. I think you're gonna like your new home here, Vic. Maybe. If we can hold it. Okay, did we finally grab all our planks? I keep thinking I have a backpack. I do not. I have not been uh, gifted with a backpack yet. Got all the planks already? Dang. That's okay. We'll just have to get our carpentry on. Start taking some stuff apart. But at least we got two on all those windows. Is that it? That's all she wrote. All right. Do we want to start taking some stuff apart down here for planks? I don't know. It's right here. Did I loot this little? Lots of rakes. Anyone in here? Hello? Is this, is this closed? Or is it broke? There's no door right there. All right, good to know. You cannot close that. Some empty pop cans, I could put water in that. There's the empty bottles. Just give me one bottle for now. Just want something I can store some water in. Oh, I missed these over here. I know I was a little sloppy when I first came in here looting.
There's another plank. Oh, there's a television in there. Actually, we don't have a television set up anywhere, do we? And today's the first day. Oh, I missed. Ah, I'm so bad. I'm so bad when it comes to the, uh, the TV shows. There, we got rid of another plank. Let's go upstairs and put our TV down. Uh, where do I? I guess we'll put it in here. Yeah, in here will be our, our pad. I wish I had something to put the TV on. Can I set it over here on this bench? Ah, oh, boo. I can just set it on the floor. I guess we'll just set it over here on the floor for now. There we go. What is this? Just some sort of commercial or something? I don't think it's going to be teaching us anything right now. How much does an empty bottle hold? Water bottle hold? Probably 10 units, I bet. 12! A 12 units. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Alright. Well, I think... Oh, wait. I was about to end it. And now there's a zombie beating on something. Hold on. Welcome to Exposure Survival, guys. What? It's 7.20. It's not even time for TV. I thought it was 6, 12, and 6. Alright, what the hell. We're going to learn about fishing, I guess, before the end of the episode. Yes, teach me about fishing. Fishing something I haven't really got to do a whole lot of in Project Zomboid either. I have fished a little bit. Aww, oh, we were still really close to leveling up fishing, but not quite. Alright, let's go downstairs real fast and go bonk this zombie. And then we'll end it. I got my work cut out here though. In terms of boards I need to put up. All right, where are you at? Oh, oh crap. Hello, lady. Lady. Yeah, that crowbar sound. Oh, that sounds good. I liked that. That sounded nice. Nice and meaty. All right, let's get our butt back upstairs. I'm feeling good about where we're at for now. Not 100% safe, but it'll it'll work. It'll work. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and call the episode right there. Um, I know I've said it a couple times already, but I'm I'm very pleased to be dealing with zombies that don't sprint at you at the speed of light. <laughs> so fingers crossed here. Vic is gonna gonna have a, a way better and longer and more fulfilling life than Carol had. Uh, rest in peace, Carol. Uh, but yeah, feeling pretty good about this. Um, I like this I like this base location. The, the fence around it is, is really nice and it's three stories. Uh, we could just barricade up the first floor and technically never even live down there. We'll just keep everything on the second floor. Uh, I'll throw up some cheat ropes so we've got alternate exits and, and entry points. Uh, we'll try to find a sack, start on a garden, probably do that on the roof. Um, yeah, I'm actually excited to, to settle down and do some actual base building. Uh, hopefully we don't get ran out of this location, right? Um, Got to remember the, the zombie population is still set to very high. Not quite insane, but pretty damn close. Um, anyways, if you guys enjoyed what you saw, give me a like. If you didn't, give me a dislike. And if you want to see more, go ahead and subscribe. And I'll see you all next time.